American Muscle versus Euro, the never-ending battle, and today we are going to tackle it head-on by comparing not these two cars, but a different pair of uh, track focus beasts. Well, frankly, Zach is going to be the track focus benchmark, and I'm going to take something that was nowhere near as track focus as what he'll be in and try and attempt to see if I can make it outperform his car. You guys already know what we're talking about by the title and thumbnail. Basically, Zach, go get in a 991.2 GT3 RS because we don't have the 992 Cut. yet currently in the game. And I'm gonna go get in just, just a Mustang, just a regular Mustang. So get this, I know a lot of you guys are racing game enthusiasts, and I also know that recently there hasn't been that many good mobile racing games out there. However, I've just discovered Race Max Pro, and I wanted to introduce you guys to this game. <laughs> licensed cars such as the Camaro Z01 1LE. This also isn't some cheesy pixely two-dimensional racing game or whatever. This is full three-dimensional with different forms of street, drift, drag racing, any of your choosing, whatever you guys are into. And it's not just if you win, it's how you win because there are different skill game modes that measure your guys' precision, your accuracy, all sorts of different elements to prove you're the ultimate racer. As well as you don't have to play alone. There is multiplayer in this game. So connect online with your guys' friends, play together, and if you guys are playing with your friends and you want to stand out from each other, you guys can use the in-game decal editor and customize your cars visually to however you want and give them your own personal identity. This game already has its entire community, so you guys can join the Race Max Pro Discord and get along with people, as well as click the link in the description or the QR code right here to download the game and go check it out. You guys are welcome. And my car will be... Uh... Stock, yeah? Yeah, so your car will remain stock for science purposes, yeah. which might yeah. either make this really easy for me or difficult. I don't know. Because essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brand new added Ford Mustang GT 2024, the beautiful S650, and no, we ain't talking S-classes, oh. and uh, I'm going to see if this can, can beat his stock gt3 rs and yeah i i mean i think uh, with okay. unlimited mods this could be too easy but even no matter how much money you pour into one of these it's still a massive huge front engine just bulky overweight american muscle car i feel like it, as long as you drive that gt3 rs to uh, what it deserves i feel like this mm -hmm. could be hard custom up excuse me cat through the table so if i go to the conversion we have a body kit for this thing and this is kind of what we're working with i wonder why they call it the triple seven yeah i don't know because is that just a company that that's... happens to make the closest looking I think thing so, to yeah. this I think have... yeah i think they just happen to find someone that makes it <laughs> viewers who may not know what we're getting at here is that we are trying to basically test out the odds of the mustang gtd versus the gt3 rs because essentially ford went crazy this past year and uh, put out to the world a car that is essentially a gt3 rs competitor in the form of a mustang they had no need to do so no business doing so the market that it's going to tap into is basically non-existent because it's going to be a six-figure 250 300 thousand dollar mustang that's fully track focused unnecessary to be on the street and we love that we love that for all that it is and and basically Basically, we're going to try and actually put their word to the test and see how GT3 RS competitive can a Mustang be. So you can have the APR wing, which is honestly kind of funny. Doesn't even look that bad once you have all this error on it. Then, <laughs> holy crap, dude, the... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it actually makes the APR wing, which is already a big wing, just look non-existent. Oh my gosh. This, these things got escalators that are supporting this big freaking deck back here. Dude, this, this wing literally sits taller than your average Asian. <laughs> okay, wheel setup. Well, I imagine they're not going to have GTD wheels just ready to go. There's rotiforms that are like, they're kind of too deep, but they're pretty intricate also. Honestly, these would fit the look, yeah. 
Could have three thirty fives back here. It's funny though with that kit because it's not like actually wider. So I like, know, yeah, the body kit it, actually didn't widen the hips that much. Yeah. This is a very strange setup going on here. I think that's why the wing looks too excessive. Yeah. I mean, frankly, looking yeah. at this wing in comparison to the actual GTD, I think this wing actually is more excessive. Like it is even taller. Yeah, for sure. So I guess here's what I can limit myself to. What exactly is the powertrain going to be of the GTD? So actually, it's pretty in interesting. So it's basically just the GT500 motor from S550. And then it has the exact same trans as the GT500, but instead of it being in the front, it's in the rear. So basically, you just, I think you can 5-2 swap that car, can't you? Uh, in the game? Engine swap. Yeah, 5-2 V8. Perfect. So put that in there. Okay. Then go into Aspiration and put a supercharger on it. Okay. And then just make it have 700. Actually, I guess it'd have 800 horsepower. So, but if you do that, then you have the almost as close, close as you can get. Okay. There's the power figures. All right. We're at 684. Yeah. We got beefing this up. Oh, wow. The supercharger upgrade immediately brings us to 800 <laughs> from 684. <laughs> nice. Okay. We could do an exhaust. <laughs> Oh yeah, this thing sounds nice. <laughs> is the 5.2 the Voodoo? It's called the Predator in the GT500. Okay. So it's very similar, but it just has a different crankshaft. So they're, well, there's but more they're to both 5.2s? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So, so this is based... Wait. So do I have... I do have the GT500 motor in this car right now? So in the game, it's it's the Voodoo. No, well, that's right. what I was asking for. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I thought you meant... Sorry. I was I like, this thing it. sounds a little too flat plain to be... Uh... <laughs> I overthought the question a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we have the GT... We have the Shelby GT350 motor currently swapped into our Mustang GT with the supercharger on top to simulate the 5.2 Predator GT500 motor, which is... Right factory a supercharged 5.2 v8 then we got as much aero we are making a rep gtd right now i mean we're <laughs> we're doing our best and so the gtd is gonna have like 800 horsepower yeah all right yeah, well that's what apparently there i'm gonna give myself that. a little bit of the advantage because we currently have i think uh we have 881 I don't think that's going to mean that I'm, I'm going to have walking odds against this gt3 rs because you got to keep in mind like we are heavy Actually, can I even mm -hmm. see how much we weigh? I could probably... Oh, my freaking units. <laughs> we weigh 1,400 kilograms. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Let me, let, me, let me convert this to bald eagle units. I know everybody right now is just being like, you should just switch it in the settings, but I, for some reason, have never done that. Okay, we weigh 3,100 pounds. Okay, that's not too bad. Mustang GTD weight. Wow. It's not, the GTD it's actually pretty is heavy. actually going to weigh around 3,800 pounds. Yeah. It's Dang, actually surprisingly okay. heavy for what it is. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's got to have more creature comforts than what I actually... I mean, according to the game, I fully, like, gutted this car, even though there's a passenger seat there, um, and, <laughs> and still an interior. But I did full weight reduction. I mean, I guess that's all you really can do as far as weight reduction goes. So we're going to have a lot better fighting odds. Even though this is the rep GTD, we have more power. We weigh less. Both, both of those factors are compared to the actual Mustang GTD. It, it is going to cost us a, a, a minor $112,000, but... <laughs> This thing, you'll see this, dude. This this basically looks like the GTD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see what you made. Voila. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that wild? That is way too close. I mean, it's literally the thing. It's literally it. I know. Like it's, I said, basically, it's, it's basically the thing. Only GTD enthusiasts would know the difference. Right. Zach, Zach looks like you're an Adam LZ spec of the old car. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. hot right there. That is hot. Thanks to the mud and sand that we're currently in, it, my car got a little dirty. Yeah. I mean, for both of them to do the same thing, yeah, it kind of seems like a joke. I mean, this car is so much larger in comparison. Like, it's just some <laughs> giant behemoth. So I have True. no idea. But we're switching it up for this video because there's less of us and less people to have to worry about having the Rally Adventure Map expansion. We are existing here today, which means that we get to, uh, we could do the Devil's Pass race, which that would be perfect yeah. for a GT3 RS competitor.
It's funny, if you were to characterize these two cars, right, you got me, the scalpel, right, in the T2 TRS. If I yeah. had to characterize the Mustang, man, it's literally just a sledgehammer, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, the best way to put weight, it. Just all the power, all the tire size, like. Yeah, I just I just gave it everything. I just more <laughs> is better, and Porsche's gonna mm -hmm. try and prove it otherwise. We'll see. I'm still S1 though. I believe you're still S1. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like low S1, I think, or something like that. I don't know where all the lack of weight came from. Like, how do I weigh 3,100 pounds if the actual GTD is gonna weigh like 3,700? Because this game is a little unrealistic with it. I guess so. Weight reduction. They're weight just reduction. like, yeah, you get a full carbon fiber chassis now. Yeah. That car weighs, I think, less than what I do, even though. That's yeah. insane. We'll see how it goes. All right. Man. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Initially, we have a lot of power. That power is coming in. That 880. Oh wow! This Whoa. is pretty close so far. Oh gosh, that it's was like a not rally pleasant. stage. Yeah. Rest in peace, my plastic front Ooh. lip. No! Uh -oh. Oh, that was no. genuinely not supposed to be as brutal as it was. Like I literally, I was on the brakes too, and it just gave you a little Hopefully bump the tap, real and it sent you into the freaking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what was that? I said hopefully the real GTD doesn't have braking that 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 is oh, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. lackluster. I mean, yeah, Dude, I upgraded weight. the brakes, too, so we'll see. This is a kind of, uh, once you're in a certain place, this is where you hold. Although, oh, mm -hmm. he's coming. This thing sounds amazing. Yeah, see, over, overdoing the corners a little bit there. I'm I enjoying this battle the... a lot right now. Because <laughs> I'm seemingly catching you in the corners, but then you, of course, fly by in the straightaways. Yeah, I gave you a little room there, but I, I want to see how quickly I can make that up. Oh, it's hard Man, to get I back. It's hard to get them. back on power in like a sharp corner like that. Right. I'm lucky, and I have the the ability to slingshot out of the corner. Yeah, this thing wants to drift. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. All right, I shouldn't have gone wide in that corner I, back there. I, I wish we held. we recorded on this map more often, man. I love this road. I know, so much. dude. I love this expansion. Contrary to whatever anyone thinks about it, these roads are so. I mean, these roads are. I feel like what people have always been asking for in this game. For sure. Whether you want to drift, you want to just rip back roads, and you just want good scenery. Like this is as close as we've gotten to the the Red Rocks in Colorado in Horizon One. For real, yeah. It's funny how somehow in a rally expansion update, they added the best road, like asphalt roads that we've had in this game. Right? They accidentally made the bet. Like, <laughs> it's pretty funny. We're catching now. Come on. <laughs> Gotta keep it up. Oh no. Oh oh. Almost had a date with the guardrail there. Whoops. Oh. Oh no, our gearing was not perfect for that. Whoa, not ready for that corner. Oh, he's gonna have me now. This is basically it. This is where you shine though. Hopefully the, the straight. I know, dude, imagine if I no. could come sweeping in. If I just had a little more, oh. I'm gaining. Man. It's See, yeah, that, those, those dude, these are neck man. and neck. I don't want to alter anything about either car. These are pretty dang close. There's no doubt that car is much more of a ride than this thing is. I was, I didn't have any wheel spin the entire yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. That th <laughs> your car is just on rails. You just gotta, you know, yep. just follow the paths. Uh, I'm over here like trying to modulate, making sure I'm not kicking the butt out. Seriously. <laughs> Cut to me drinking my tea with one hand on the wheel. Yeah. This is genuinely, like, such a surreal car just to think about. Yeah. That, dude. like, yeah, you'd be at some gas station. There's someone just filling up his basically GT3 Mustang. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that knowing that, that it's also worth, like, yeah, like $300,000. Like, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But just like how Chevy kind of changed what the name of a Corvette can mean by like, I mean, in the current standards now, a Z06 is just undoubtedly a supercar to me, or is within yeah. the realm of what it was derived from being a 458 or or any of those and, uh, and yeah, Ford's doing that to the Mustang 
it's got levels. Yeah. This pro this pro this car is gonna now have probably the largest bandwidth as far yeah. as you could have your enterprise four cylinder convertible rental, and then it's gonna go all the way up to this thing as far as not to uh, mention just the like their model. actual racing uh, like. Drift. Like they have every facet of racing you can think, man. They got Formula Drift, they got drag, they got yeah. GT3. It's pretty cool to see. Literally, that. most companies, right? They'll do like different cars for their different racing levels, but it's cool to see them do like one car for all. Yeah, the Mustang is just capable of all. Oh. Lots of elevation change. Oh, oh. no! Oh my oh. goodness! I oh my gosh, that. that. <laughs> All right, that Jesus. went as best as honestly it could have. That could have gone. I landed at like worse. 30 degrees side. Yeah, I looked behind and I saw that you were not facing straight. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this map is so underrated. This, this is, is so cool. cool dude. I like how hard it is to drive it. Like, yeah. It's cool, dude. Yeah, man. You're way up there now this time. Yeah, the straight at the end. That's given me all and uh, across the line. Sounds like we need a tiebreaker, man. I, I guess we do. Your car is lizard green when it's ghosted right now. Ew. So you're telling me it's, it's like, it's a fun bright thing. green. <laughs> nice. It's funny because, like, when the GTD is going to first be out, like, you're going to be some dude at a show with a GT3 RS, the top dog, and if this thing just pulls up next, like, I already know, <laughs> it's going to be a freaking showstopper. Like, oh, it yeah. is going to be the car that makes GT3 RSs embarrassed. Tremble from the beginning, sleep. from the beginning, it's like it's like the Cybertruck attention right now. Yeah, for sure. All right, so we've kind of had a bunch of we've had all the flavors of the island so far, or the map. We've had the upper canyons, we've had the inner canyons, and now we're up in the jungle. Still ghosted from each other. Oh. Damn, dude, this is neck and Love neck. This <laughs> is racing now. Oh, man, I don't like how technical this is. I think this car I definitely do. lacks <laughs> in that aspect. It just it just wants to slide out of these corners, and I'm sure there's some... Two Where? Are, are you good? No! No! Not like this! What the heck, man? No! My internet just, or something it happened, just man. It just, all it took was one little spike. That sucks. I got disconnected, man. I mean, I'd rather have that happen than how embarrassing that was if that was your actual driving, because you literally just, like, <laughs> you just went straight <laughs> off the bridge. I would have been that's like, what I, That's what I saw on my end, too, for you. Oh yeah, I thought, yeah. I thought you ate it, and then I realized. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I would have been like, "Uh, oh, mate, what, <laughs> what, what are you doing?" <laughs> mm -hmm. Off the line. Oh yeah, it loves that straight line. <laughs> oh, best of luck. <laughs> now we have unghosted from each other. I'm just trying. Oh, <laughs> dude, sometimes the physics in this game, I feel like work against us when we're actually trying to competitively like race and and race clean, mm -hmm. like just a little rub in here and there. But like I give him too much of a tap and then now he's like gone. Yep. It's all fun in games whenever we're not taking our videos as seriously, which is 95% of the time. <laughs> yeah. But this but time it's just the two here. of us and mm -hmm. Frankly, nothing's stopping us from actually doing our best. Oh, we're almost done already. Uh -oh. oh, shoot. Oh, he's falling even more behind as the roads get longer and more open. Give you some <laughs> debris. Uh-oh. Boom. Dang, okay. If, if we were to truly break it down... That one little tap in one of those corners just sent him a little bit too far off that, like, really threw off everything that Zach was working for there. So, truthfully, if you, if, I guess if you really needed to test it out, you probably have to have, like, ghost, uh, ghost turned on or something True. like that. Yeah. 
But True. I think we've covered enough on here. I mean, I, I haven't even maxed this car out. There's more power and more performance I could have probably put into this. Which actually, I don't even know if that would have made it better because if anything, it would have made my wheel spin issue and just wanting the drift probably even more of a more of a stabber. But at least with what I was able to do with $112,000 and staying in S1 class, this thing was able to at least outperform the GT3 RS in the three races that we did. I guess a Mustang can truly be as good of a track car as a Porsche. And on that bombshell, this will be Jack Ultra Gamer signing this video off.